Scallop fever is a disease that is very treatable through a simple case of antibiotics, more specifically penicillin. However, if this is not treated promptly, this can turn into a severe illness, which is caused by the Streptococcus A bacteria. Group A Streptococcus bacterium, often abbreviated to GAS, is found in the throat and on the skin. Examples of other invasive infections caused by GAS are meningitis and tonsillitis. However, the main effects of scarlet fever are a red rash and also what is referred to as strawberry tongue. Complications can include ear infections and pneumonia, but the even more serious long-term effects can be kidney disease and arthritis. In the Victorian era, scarlet fever caused a huge amount of pain to those who had contracted the infection. In the worst case scenarios, a family would lose all their children to the infection in a matter of weeks. This was due to its severe contagiousness. It was in Victorian Manchester that in 1850, when hospitals and new public health measures were put in place, that we actually saw a decline in scarlet fever mortality rates. These mortality rates dropped significantly by the start of the First World War, with approximately eight deaths per 100,000 people. Yet deaths were still a common occurrence, and it wasn't until after the 1950s that they were actually eradicated. This was due to the mass production of penicillin, discovered by Alexander Fleming in 1928. Now, by 1944 45, there was enough penicillin for use on the battlefields for the creation of Europe. But it wasn't until the end of the war that it was uh, available for civilian use on a wide scale. In the United States, it was available from March 1945, in Britain, from Ju July 1946. It's very difficult to estimate what effect it did have on mortality rates because there were a lot of other factors at play. For example, its impact on military medicine was hard to estimate because there were other developments such as in, in improved blood transfusion. And also, within medicine in Britain, at home, there was uh, the whole question of other improvements such as diets, social conditions. So penicillin is just one of many factors.